Go, go, go. go. On a tie change. Unbelievable. Yep. What one is wrong? Minute, what one is, minute from the tie change. What is wrong with those bastards? What do they swim in just ignoring all the free food? Right? And go, yeah, sorry, can't eat. No tie change. Can't eat. Guys, 745, let's go. Woohoo! Bang. Then you're you're always looking for some sort of event out here. When I say an event, like you want a sunrise, or you want a, a sunset, or you want a tide change, or you want a rising barometer, or you want them all converging in one moment together, or you want a ship going past, or... Well, the next event is a tide change, high tide at 7.45, and it's now 7ish. So, this is a last chance, roll the dice, let's find some fish. That's a big Have fish. Have a look at the size of them. Yeah. They're like two metre. Alright, so they're just there. I'm just going to watch where they are. Oh, I'll just put a mark on the sand and I'll just do that. They're just there. Oh, big marks. Oh, mate. That was the real deal. That wasn't just scattery sort of marks. They were just individual big fish. Yeah. Didn't like that they weren't on the bottom, but one of no. them was. One of them was. Not ideal, but... Alright, let's get this sucker going. Spool. You want to sort of sink out where it landed? We're going to go around, I'd say. Yeah, we might put this. It helps you catch fish. In late disappointment. As is, Reedy Hook's become a local legend now. Gone as the days of these now. Dominant, market dominance. Mark, nice. Here we go. We're, we're 170 metres off that mark, but they were fish. So. They were fish. 100%. That's good to know. I'm in a good spot then. I like this spot. That was three snapper yeah. distinct. Couldn't be more distinct. Right, right on the tie change, old right boy. On the tie change to the minute. To the minute. Wow. How about that? I haven't got the net out. You might need to get to the net. I'll just see where he go. Seems like a reasonable fish. Yeah, I reckon he. My guess about. Was see. that a pilchard or a silver? I think that might have been um, the fresh silver I just put in. My guess. Four and a half kilos. Alright? Yeah, you're right. That's my guess. Oh come on, let's get another rod go. Let's go, let's go. So finally, we've proven the theory that it takes an event. And the event is the tide change is what, 7.46? 7.46, what's the time now, bro? Hang on, I'll have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> a minute away and, from the tide. And the phone is ringing, which will be Darcy and he's got a fish on the tide change. No, it's Ben. He was just asking how you're going. He will be. Who put that bloody camera there? It just banged my head on it. You just banged your head on it. Alright, so here we go. Finally, guys, the patience game. Worry about that. I can see him. You can see colour. I can see colour. You got that net? No, no. just relax. We'll just yeah. have a look at him. Come have a look. I'm a cameraman, mate. I'll oh, help you with right. nets. It's a solid fish. It's a snapper. It's a snapper. It's the right colour. Okay, you just swing him aboard, he's hooked yeah. well. Wrap him and swing him. There we go. I said 4 kgs, I reckon I'm 
It'll be three and a half. Three and a half, I reckon it's three and a half to four. I reckon we're not too far from that. Wee hee! Wee -hee. Well done, Brennan. Go, 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 go. On the tie change, unbelievable. Yep. What one is wrong? Minute, what one is, minute from the tie change. What is wrong with those bastards? What do they swim around just ignoring all the free food, right? And go, yeah, sorry, can't eat. No tie change. Can't eat. Guys, 7.45, let's go. Woohoo! Bang, and then you're on. Oh, what's wrong with them? Oh, here we go. We just had the biggest school of bait on the town, don't we? So Tip the cubes going, I say. I'm yeah. going to... Was it silver whiting, you think? Um, I'd love to know. Yeah, I'll tell you, because I had pilly on one and silver whiting on the other. Let's have a look at this. I reckon. Let me. Let me. I'll tell you. In, I've picked up your other line. Uh, uh, it's, it's pilly. It's pilly. It's pilly. Right. There you go. The good old fashioned. That's why I'm asking, because I want to put a pilly on. You know the funny thing? What were we just talking about? Uh, lots of things. No. Russian Mafia. No. Oh yeah, that's one. But weren't we just talking about pilchards and, and how the schools of pilchards out here and I pulled in that boat. And, and there was a school of pilchards, pilchards went under on, and, and guess what the snapper went on? A pilchard. A pilchard. It's like he was chasing the school. Yeah, and he found and one. Said, you know on what? The oh, one of these idiots has fallen dead. I'm just going to eat yeah. it. Yeah. Now I'm completely tangled, thank you. I'm just going to sort that out. My pilly. Look at him. Glistening. Right, put him out. Get some more cubes going. Yeah, well, let me just get this bait in. There's a chance we get one or two more here. Yep. Come on. Let's go, you bastards. And you get it nice too. You actually... Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful animals there. Look at the colours in them. This is the, the bread and butter of Port Phillip Bay, Melbourne. This is the number one fishery. These. And we're doing it old school, like we did as kids. Young bikes, anyway. <laughs> What's years ago now, we're banning for life. For life. Well, the rigs, twin pattern also with pilchard cut mark. Get those cues going now. So we definitely marked them, and we've got the result on the tie change. It's unbelievable, isn't it? They're quite. It's quite. It's not impossible. We can get two or three quick fish now. That boat must have just seen us and just stopped right behind us. More than one of that size fish in there is. You would think so. Yeah. He's not a big line dog. No. Nah. So come on, we've got a, an up, an upright pad and We've got, we flip flopped again. The boat's gone back around. Yeah. Fucking pain in the ass. So the boat's doing strange shit at the moment because there's no wind. But that was not a pad and That was, as you say, the old traditional rig that went Yeah. Yep. All right. See if we can get some more runs going. Yeah. Well, there's fish in the area, so. He's pig fish. You guys got any? No? Oh, I just got one about 10 minutes ago. But yeah, it's quiet. So that, we were just talking to Dale. Dale's a professional. And he fishes, he's had 300 fish in three weeks. You got none today, so we feel kind of lucky. This is the thing about snapper. They're the most frustrating fish in the world. The, 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 we love them, and when they go, and they go. But when there's nothing more frustrating than sitting in a lake like this, basically a lake, with giant fish just swimming around everyone in your boat, and there they are, you know, that you can see them on the sound there, you've got all these baits out, you've got pilchard schools swimming around, and don't touch shit. They won't eat anything. But then we're saying, okay, tie change is the next event we're hoping for. As we're sitting here, we're watching a big shoal of bait go across the sounder. And I actually noticed there was actually a little mark under this. I don't know if it, so she noticed, but it was a little mark under the pilchards. He's telling me a story about a pilchard boat. We're talking about tide changes. Next thing I know, the rod just screams off. And I had the camera off. <laughs> I just, it was getting hot because the GoPros was running for three hours. So I turned it off for rest. Yeah, that was silly. It was a bloody ripper run. Anyway, so we're going to give it a few more minutes. Let's just get one more big dog. Let's try and upgrade it. Get a ripper. And then we've got ourselves a nice little bloody informative show. 
got to be more of those around, and if they're starting to chew why aren't the other one's chewing as well too. Because they're never alone. No. Even when we sound them, there was three distinct yeah, big exactly. fish there. But we've done better than a lot of boats out here, mate. Like, he was just saying that he's got 35 boats around him, hasn't seen anyone land anything. And, and Dale's a charter operator, so he's out here all the time yeah. as well too, so it's like we've just come out. Well, he happened yesterday, he got like seven or something seven, yesterday. Yeah, he got seven yesterday, and today hasn't spun a reel. So, we've done we've done well. Has not spun if we get another one, we've done really well. Has not spun a reel, and that's, you know, you stink. You know what, the afternoon might go here. There's fish here, you just don't know. At some stage, they'll eat. Well, yeah. Where is it? Yeah. See the trail's actually hitting. It's on. coming right past us. Yeah, hitting. But that's not our um we didn't go dropping in their trail. No. The way they ain't getting up. We were here first. Well that was a good move to come out here, Brennan. Yeah. Good call. Oh man, I, some of my best fishing memories have been fishing off here at Ansets. I, I remember this one night, I used to have a little tinny. I used to come out and fish on my own this tinny. It was like a four point two meter I think it was Dory. I come out off Ansett's this hedge, I come in and I just anchor in 90 meters. I used to fish for snapper nearly always in April back then. Right? It was just something about March and April. And this year you got this one here Sash. I think so. And um oh, this one night I had a big red up beside the boat. It was a big easy it was the boat was slopping around and oh, I was such an amateur. This fish, I, I estimate it was seven and a half kilo. It was a male, had a big honker on it. It was my knees were shaking, and I had it on the surface. And I'm trying to reach it with a net. And every time I went near the edge of the boat, the boat would rock over. And I'm fucking, it was going down. I was pulling back into the water, and I'm trying to net it. And I literally watched it fall off in front of me. And I just remember that sickening feeling to this day, just that gutted, sickening feeling of the fish of a lifetime. Would have been easily my best snapper of my life just swum off i almost jumped in after it with a net i it was nearly in me to do it i wanted it that bad that and i already had fish in about six kilo that day so a fish of that size back then was would have been just the world to me and it was a sunset bite She is a fish on there. Yep, that's a fish. It's a snapper. It's a snapper. snatcher. Come on. Do a circle, but I don't want to strike it. Nah. He's on. Fish? Yeah. Yes. On the Reedy's Paternoster. That's, that's Sash clambering around. So he took the whiting on the flasher. Boy, there you go. Oh, this is good. Tell you what, they're not big fish, but I'm actually enjoying myself. This is exciting. Because we know it's, it's not, they might go on the run out. Oh, hang on a minute. Really? Yep. Which one? My other Paternoster. I could be stabbed it's over that way. Oh, it could be. Okay, yeah. I'll just, I won't do anything. I'll just leave light line on. He's all right. Oh, big knock. Big knock? Yeah. Ooh. It was such a gentle take, too. Whoa. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was, it was a slow, the size of the knock. It was a slow, gentle take. I reckon you picked up this rod here, Brennan. I'm just going to the bail. Tell you what. I'm just going to the bail arm so there's no pressure on it. That right. was a decent fish. Did you see that run then? Yeah, I heard it. I didn't see it, but I heard it. I've just opened the bow arm on that other rod so it doesn't put any pressure oh, on it. Wow. You love it when they scream back to the bottom like that. Yeah. Oh, this is, a, I'm loving this. This is just epic. <gasps> there he is. Oh, he's a nice fish. He's a nice fish. He's a nice fish. Yeah. I'll come in. He's a good fish. Hang on. Hey, right. get really? in. Oh, Brandon. Oh, that's a solid fish! Oh, look at that! 
Well done, old boy. Hey. Holy that shit. brings back some memories, mate. Woohoo! That's a good one. That is. For, for a fish that big, the take was like a piggy. Wow. What a, he just nibbled, 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 and then stuck with the rod. We, we sounded them, we found them. We knew they were there, we just didn't get them to go. Right, we didn't have a mark. Right, we just came to an area and you saw what we saw and we stopped. That's that's over five yards, that one. Yeah, that's yeah, yours wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll, just, I'll just, give up. Let's just show you this rig. This is unbelievable. Yeah. I've heard about these rigs. I'm, I'm not even shitting out. Like, Barney friend, mate, mate of ours, calls his mate, had 16, uh, 18 fish here about two weeks ago, somewhere out here. He said six, 16 of them on these rigs. And that's on the top hook too, so that's up off the bottom. That was the head. Yep. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. The fish. I want to get a photo. It's of that. That's a... That's a, that's a solid port fillet fish. Oh, so there we go. Look all right? Beautiful. There's the Reedy's rigs. And I bought them. No bullshit. He even offered them to me. said, no, I want them boys. Support the local. There you go. It's the real deal. Unreal. Get a photo of the fire camera. Yes. Yeah.